School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by the Alberta Canola Producers Commission. So these, um, these bud clusters appear to be very attractive to the cabbage seed pod weevil. They'll, um, they'll move into the crop as soon as those buds start to form um, right low into the plant like, like here. And uh, sometimes you'll find two or three cabbage seed pod weevils feeding on these buds here and, and that really concerns a lot of growers. Um, growers think that you know maybe now's the time to spray but you know you only really get one shot at this you only get one really opportunity to go in and spray for the seed pod weevil so we want to wait until that full invasion has occurred. Um, a good time to do it is at that 10 or 20 percent flower um, the, the seed pod weevils will, will really migrate in once uh, once more flowers start to come out but this early feeding that we're seeing we're going to see some chewing if we move over here and we see some blanks starting to happen and this is likely from a seed pod weevil uh, feeding and now you are going to have some blanks start off then on that main stem here's actually one starting to climb up here and he was probably feeding on that uh, causing that aborted pod and and what's going to happen there is it's going to abort some pods but the plant is going to compensate for itself compensate for any feeding at this stage so you know any feeding that we do see at this stage it's uh, it's not really warranted to spray we want to wait until that full invasion has occurred and then control them now typically seed pod weevils aren't a real issue for um, for too many growers it's kind of um, restricted to sort of southern Alberta that highway 9 south and then into Saskatchewan almost following the uh, the South Saskatchewan River and um, just kind of in that sort of pocket but this year we had such um, warm winter and you know on a really strong overwintering population of insects I I suspect that uh, you know we might see some more cases uh, pop up further north of there so my message here today is go out and monitor and, and check your bud clusters but if you do find them in there don't get too concerned yet wait until they get to that 20% flower now if your crop is under stress which this crop is definitely not but if your crop is under stress um, you know you might see a little bit of a yield loss um, early with that early feeding before the flowering but uh, we want to wait until that full invasion occurs if we can so do, um, and you don't want to only do sweeps in one area in your field. You want to make sure that you, you go out, um, you know, do the W formation uh, and, um, you know, at least, you know, six to ten different locations in your field uh, to do those sweeps. And um, once you do get up to that two seed pod weevils per sweep, then you are at your economical thresholds. So what the seed pod weevil will do is it'll actually lay its eggs inside the pods and um, the damage is done when the when the uh, when the larvae when the larva actually leaves the uh, pod. It'll it'll sort of shatter that pod. Um, so that's that's what we want to prevent. We want to prevent those those adults from laying the eggs inside the pod. So that's why we want to wait until um, you know until the full invasion has occurred at that 10 or 20 percent flower. Um, also keep in mind that there's only really two products out there that are registered for the seed pod weevil and that's Matador and Desis. Um, so, so they have really good uh, control measures and um, you know we only get that one shot so you want to go in and, and make sure that you have the right timing for those. Mm -hmm. 